Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about the Velocity Chart Report. This is a very special, very powerful report. If you're using Story Points, it will give you tremendous insight into the last seven sprints, and it's going to give you some information so that you, as a Scrum Master, can mold and shape your team for maximum effectivity. So please make sure you're subscribed, drop a like if you get value to this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into Jira. Let's talk about velocity chart. I like this one. This one's a really cool and interesting chart as well. You get some value out of it. And the biggest value you get out of this one is that it will highlight, it will, it will basically show you what your team committed to when you hit that blue start sprint button versus what your team accomplished when you hit the com gray complete sprint button. These I bars, the gray, which is the committed start of the sprint, the green, the completed when you completed the sprint, those should be close to each other. Again, my rule is 80%, which basically means that this one should be 80%, 20% higher than this. And so the key things that you want to watch out for is these discrepancies. If you committed to a hundred and your team finished 20, that's a problem. If you committed to 100 and your team finished 130, it's a problem, a better problem, but it's still a problem because that's telling you that your team isn't estimating or, or um, committing appropriately at the beginning of that sprint during that sprint planning. So you want to use these to essentially help guide you to make sure that we can go full Goldilocks here, that we know exactly just the right amount of points. And the reason I can say that is because if I switch back over to a different report or to a different board and I go to a different velocity chart, you'll notice a little pattern here. Jura actually remembers like, I don't know, six or seven different sprints. I think seven's a count. And so Jura is going to remember the last seven sprints so you can come in here and get some historicals. So if you see here, like the story that's being told here is essentially, hey, I hit 50, my first sprint, we finished 46. Great, this is really good. But for some reason, we only planned 22 points for the next sprint. Like that's a flag, that's a big red flag because why would your team commit to 50% less work? So unless there's like a holiday or some kind of company shutdown or you lost half your team, these numbers should be pretty consistent. And so this chart here, will help illustrate that narrative for you to help you understand if you're going okay, if you're not doing okay, if your team's meeting those commitments, right? And so if this is, again, you're going to see trends, you're going to see patterns, and this is where you get to see if your team, how close they are to hitting that 80% completion every time. And if you can always get over 80%, over 80%, again, never a bad thing. I just think a lot of teams th come in with the expectation that they plan for 100, they're going to finish 100, and then team members get scolded when they don't finish 100. And guess what happens when you scold your engineers? They tend to resign. They tend to leave. So then that means more work on less people, and it's just a snowball effect. So don't do that. It gets you in all kinds of bad uh, situations. All right. So that's the velocity chart again. If you have any questions on this one, this was an easy. This is probably the easiest one to read because you're just looking at a nice picture with the last seven sprints and it's going to tell you, here's what you committed to, here's what you completed. Again, Jared doesn't lie. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please make sure you're subscribed. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, just hit that red button. It's super easy, super free, no effort to you, and it helps out the channel tremendously. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers here. So please, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't done it already. And if you did get value out of this video that you just watched, make sure you drop a like because that helps out the algorithm tremendously. It helps Jira be known to more people and it just helps more people watch these videos. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you just want to say hi and interact in the comment section, feel free to leave a comment. I do read and respond to every single comment. So if you have any questions, anything that you want to just discuss, or even if you just want to say hello to help out that algorithm, um, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now